Aircraft manufacturer Boeing recently went three months without delivering any of its 767 freighters or KC-46 Pegasus aircraft. The KC-46 is an aerial refueling tanker based on the 767-200, currently in service by several militaries around the globe. Boeing informed operators in January that it had detected an issue with the paint primer used by a supplier in the central wing fuel tank of some KC-46A Pegasus and 767-300F aircraft. As a result, it paused deliveries while it rectified the problem in its current stock of completed aircraft. The first aircraft delivered since the stoppage was a FedEx Express Boeing 767-300F bearing the registration November 282 Foxtrot Echo. The aircraft was spotted above Payne Field on Saturday, April 1st, in advance of its delivery. On April 4th, the freighter made its way from Everett's Payne Field to the FedEx hub at Indianapolis International Airport. There are two more Boeing 767Fs scheduled for delivery in the near future, based on flight tracking data. The first is a UPS 767F registered as November 378 Uniform Papa. This jet made its first flight on April 4th. The 23-minute flight saw it fly north and circle Point Susan before returning to its base. Air Tanzania's first 767F registered as 5 Hotel Tango Charlie Oscar is also pending delivery. The purchase was the subject of a recent controversy when it was revealed that someone within the government had increased the final invoice for the aircraft in an attempt to defraud the state. Regardless, the African carrier's inbound freighter conducted a test flight on March 19, 2023. A spokesperson for Boeing declined to provide any additional details about upcoming deliveries or which customers were receiving the aircraft when reached by simple flying. In addition to the Air Tanzania cargo aircraft, the manufacturer has yet to deliver 27 aircraft to FedEx and the same number to UPS. Another 58 refueling tankers remain on order for the US Air Force. So what exactly was the issue affecting the 767 freighter and its military variant? Well, the center wing tank structure supplier informed Boeing that it had not followed the proper cleaning and paint adhesion testing procedures on the fuel tanks before shipping them to Boeing for the final assembly of the 767 variants. According to Aerotime, the supplier changed ownership from Triumph Group to Daher last year. The issue was not deemed immediately critical. However, there was the potential that an improperly painted and primed fuel tank structure could result in clogged fuel filters and restrict fuel flow to the aircraft's engines. A spokesperson for the US Air Force's Air Mobility Command confirmed to Aerotime that an initial assessment has not identified any immediate safety risk to the fleet. It was also noted that there are no documented instances of fuel contamination caused by non-conforming tank primer on KC-46A aircraft. Did you know about this issue? Share your thoughts by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.